It's been a rough couple of years for Hollywood. The era of superheroes is coming to a close, dying with one gasping flopbuster after another. The MCU, which drove the box office to ever more glamorous heights, has taken a nosedive into preachy, politically motivated mediocrity as the general audience looks on in abject disgust at Hollywood's self-important circle jerks, all the while firing money out of a cannon at movies like Dune, Oppenheimer, and Barbie, regardless of those movies' actual merit. And as Disney deals with the consequences of its own stupidity, the proxy war between Pelts and Iger rages impotently, while the rest of Hollywood tries to figure out which way to jump. Because the ESG packs that funded the acrimonious politburo that murdered our modern mythology are watching as public sentiment turns on them faster than my dog when I try to give him a bath. They are wondering whether it would not be wise to head out of town for the weekend while the shitstorm blows over. So how does Hollywood recover without the commie cash to bail them out? They don't, is the long and short of it. At least the current crop of studios and creatives doesn't. For several reasons. Firstly, because they have damaged the brand of Hollywood to the point that the general public views them with the same disdain I reserve for ticks and their poly variety. Sure, there are ways they could redeem themselves, but that will take time. Time that struggling studios do not have, ladies and gentlemen. While that audience that still wants entertainment looks elsewhere. Independents proffer their wares, anime captures the imaginations of a generation starved for escapism that Hollywood refuses to provide, while the video game industry, while plagued with the same problems as Hollywood, still makes more money in actual entertainment than Hollywood can ever hope to provide. And, of course, Tinseltown must compete with themselves, after all. Why would I go spend a hundred bucks and an hour and a half drive both ways to go take a chance on a movie that will probably pinko proselytize for me for three hours and suck when I can cuddle a cup of hot cocoa and watch a guaranteed good film from the past free of pinko preachifying that I haven't seen before in the comfort of my own home. It's not all bad news for Hollywood. The aforementioned movies, not to mention Dune Part 2, have proven that Tinsel Town can still turn out entertainment people want to see. But the general trust of the audience has been broken, and they will have to work very hard to get it back. But that's about all I've got for today, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me what you think down below. This has been Pete, the Heretical Nerd, signing off.